What's up guys, welcome to your 21st tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be building a simple application to average a bunch of numbers together. Now, we already learned all the basic tools, but we haven't really seen how to combine them all and build a simple program. So that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys in this tutorial. Um, again, what I'm gonna be doing is inputting 10 numbers into the program, and it's gonna give me the average. So the first thing we need to input numbers is the scanner. So let's go ahead and import it. Again, that's Java UTIL scanner. And this allows us to import the scanner, but we also need to create an object so we can use it after we imported it. So let's go ahead and make scanner input. You can name it anything you want. A new scanner with the parameter of system in. And don't forget, our system in is the keyboard, so that's why we add that. Now that we have a scanner we can use, we can begin making the variables we need for this program. So let's go ahead and make int total equal to zero. And this is going to be the total of all the numbers. Let's say we're inputting uh, grades. Say we're like a teacher and importing grades. So next we need another one called int grade and this is going to be the grade we enter we have a next one called int average and this is going to be after everything is done we're going to average them all together so we need a variable for that and we also need a last one that's int counter and we're going to set that equal to zero because we want to make sure our counter starts at zero and i'll show you what that counter variable is right here when we're building our while loop the counter variable is just um, the counter for the while loop. So you're going to say while counter is less than 10. So this while loop is going to execute 10 times. Um, but what do we want to do 10 times? Well, since we're importing or inputting 10 numbers, we're going to want to put grade equals input next. Excuse me, you need a dot since it's object next int with empty parameters and what this does is this it allows whatever number you input to be stored in the variable grade so say you inputted a 3 grade is now going to be equal to 3 but that's not very useful unless we can add it to the total so we can average it later later so now we have total equals total plus grade and what this does is take that grade and add it to the total of whatever it was before and if you're saying, all right, how come you don't just put total equals grade? Because if you had um, like 30 in this before, it would now be equal to 3. And you want to add it to that 30. So it would be equal to 33. So that's what that does. Now you just need to do, spell that right, counter plus plus. And this will increment your, your k -k -k counter each time. So it actually goes through the loop. So here's what we have going on right now. We inputted a grade, we added that grade to total, whatever it was before, and then we added one so we can actually get out of this loop. Now we have a while loop. What we need to do is find the average of the total. So let's go ahead and write average equal total over 10. And we know that it's 10 because that's how many numbers we entered. And now that we have our average calculated, let's just output it on the screen. So system out print line and let's put something like your average is plus average so let's go ahead and run this and see how many errors I got and if nothing pops up in the run box then you know you're good to go so let's go ahead and enter 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and it says your average is 5 which it should be 1 through 5 average I mean, excuse me, 1 through 10, average is 10. So let me show you guys one last time how this simple program works. This and this is just a scanner, which you should know allows you to input numbers. You now have four variables. The total holds the sum of all the grades. The grade allows you to import numbers individually. Average is going to be used later to average them all together. And this is just a counter variable for the while loop, which you should know what it does. Next, you put input next int, and it's going to be temporarily stored in grade. And it's only temporarily because you change it with each loop. 
This total keeps a running tally of all the grades you entered. So total equals the old total plus the new grade. So this gives you a new total each time that keeps adding in and adding up. After you have 10 grades entered, you take the average of the total, which is the sum of all the grades, and divide it by 10. And after all of that, you just give the user a nice little prompt. The average is, and it gives you the average. So again, this is how you can build a simple um, program using the tools we have thus far. And again, you can add some if statements in here if you want. It says if grade is less than four, do this. If grade is higher than five, do that. But we'll get to that later. I wanted um, teaching you some more advanced stuff before that. So again, that's how you build a basic uh, program. I know you guys were itching to build something. So there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure to check out all my other tutorials and f for all my latest Java programming, all that good stuff. So again, thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.